Thunder Force, the brand new Netflix film starring Alyssa Cartney and Octavia Spencer, both playing superheroes named Thunder Force. And it's it's meant to be a comedy. As I said, it's meant to be a comedy. It's meant to make you laugh. It's meant to make you go, haha, this is a good time. It's not funny. It's painfully not funny. Like all the jokes, all the gags, all the little you know, gags, you know, scenes that it's just a joke are not funny. When and even the message of this movie with one of the messages of the movie which is I'm not a I'm not a nerd, I'm just smart. I'm like what isn't that what a nerd is? A nerd is a smart person, so it makes no sense anyway. But you, you got all the but this is a movie that is as painfully funny. Unfunny. Like when you have a scene where someone is tased is tased and the taser is stuck on the person, so for the next minute it's just a cad uh, seeing someone go for like for a minute and you stop and after the scene happen you're like, really? Did they really thought this would be funny? A scene where Felissa Cartney actually hits her hits her in the crotch herself in the crotch. They thought that was funny? You you question why? Oh, Urkel, you don't know who Urkel is and start doing an Urkel impression. That was probably the most painful out of the bunch. It's puking water twice. Oh dear, that's why oh dear, that's meant to be hilarious. Like it's not This is a movie where you just question who's this movie for? Seriously, who will find this funny that isn't over the age of five? Maybe even, I don't know, seven at least, in case they haven't break, you know, the occasional, you know, body, you know, occasional fart joke comes in. It's like, it's just, like, here's the thing Felicity Carter's character. As many as her characters are in most of her most of her movies that are directed by her husband are unlikable. They are maybe selfish or loud or um, just you know self-centered or whatever not likable character definition you want to use, and it falls into this movie to the point when she. Anytime they do the whole thing of, she's a good person, I'm like, how? She threw a stool bus and she could have killed someone. And when she apologizes, it doesn't feel a sense of remorse towards it. It feels like a sense of, oh, I, oh, I'm sorry and all that. You got Jason Bateman in this movie, and and his whole thing is he has crab arms. He got bitten by a way after crab, so he has crab arms. So here comes all the crab jokes that are like, bah, ooh, Jesus Christ! You know, you're like Jesus. This is not good. The villains are weak. They're paper thin. They're just, like, even the motivate, like, the henchmen are just the henchmen. They're like, I'm going to kill you, and that's the whole thing. The main villain, his motivate, like, he's like, I'm going to be the, the you know, I'll be the mayor, and his whole thing is, no, the, the man, or, you know, like, whatever the fuck he's fussing about, that it should be the something, not Mr. Something. It's... I mean, it's like, I'm going to bomb the place that people didn't vote. Like, here's the... Like, this movie is not good. It's not. You know? You know? Super action? Uh, if most of all happens at the end, so at least, you know, 
So you can't even like block your mind thinking, oh yeah. It's this is just not a good movie and I'm slowly processing it because I'm because it took me two time took two it took me two viewings of this movie to watch it as a whole. Because the whole time I was sitting there and like what am I watching? This is painfully not funny. And it's just ah the less I talk about this movie 